Hey guys, welcome in a new episode of Steven's Week. Thanks for the fantastic feedback on the one of last week, by the way, that was really great. But this week, we had another week of fantastic tech, marketing, and customer experience news. First item that catched my eye was uh, a new patent that Google asked for. It is a uh, patent to inject a smart lens right into your eye. That sounds really painful. But apparently with that patent or with that technology, they can make sure that your sight improves uh, incredibly and another few cool items. So I don't know if this will happen, but they asked for the patent. Fiat and Google announced a big uh, car deal this week. Um, Google wants to expand its uh, fleet of driverless cars and it made a deal with Fiat Chrysler to get at least 100 additional cars to its fleet. Funny thing, a young kid hacked into Instagram and as a reward it got 10k from Facebook. I saw a fantastic ad this week from Netflix. It's outdoor ads is actually the combination of offline advertising and um, digital interfaces. Like what you can do as a Snapchat user, you can swap faces with characters like Frank Underwood and then do funny stuff with it. And I thought that's a really cool example of an offline campaign that is using digital interfaces. A cool thing by uh, Delta Airlines, by the way, Delta wants to be the first airline in the world that starts tracking their luggage with uh, RFID chips. And uh, because of that, they will be able to deliver all bags at the right location at the right time and will be able to track them. So that's pretty cool. And you see more and more RFID applications. A few uh, months ago, we heard from a Belgium retailer called uh, GBC that they have RFID tags in clothes to improve production, to improve logistics and to make sure customers get helped in a better way. So I think we're going to see much more of that in the next few weeks. Fun item. Uh, maybe soon we'll be able to charge our phones through plants in our house. Uh, I recently saw a talking piece of fruit in a lab, so you see more and more of these applications and now they're apparently working on something that we can charge our phones with the help of nature. Pretty nice. One of the largest retailers in the world, Target, is testing out a robot in one of their stores in San Francisco. And the goal of the robot is that it will track the product inventory in the aisles to uh, optimize logistics and uh, procurement and all those things. So uh, more robots in retail, my friends. Big news from Japan this week. Um, Japan is the first country in the world that has officially more electric car charging points than gas stations, uh, which is a big milestone. Although the number of electric cars in Japan is still a small minority, they believe that you first need the infrastructure to motivate people to change their behavior. And now as a second step, they're really motivating companies like Nissan and Toyota to really go full force on the electric vehicles so that they can actually make the switch now that the infrastructure is ready. But being the first country that has more electric car charging points than gas stations is quite impressive. There could be a breakthrough in 3D printing as Disney filed a patent for almost instant 3D printing. What others, or at least what Disney is stating at this point, is that other printers are too slow and the technology that they have developed would, you know, something that usually would take up to hours, Disney would be able to print it out in minutes. Imagine what that can do to the toy market. So this was another fun week. Um, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode and I hope you're gonna share it and I hope you're gonna enjoy the sunshine in Belgium because this weekend Belgium is officially the warmest place in Europe. Enjoy the weekend, my friends.